Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I have been on YouTube for one year and I thought it seemed fitting to show you my room setup since I have come a long way since that year. So stay with me and I'm gonna give you a full tour. Okay guys, so I'm nowhere near finished. Um, I've been on YouTube for about a year and um, I, so I thought that now that I've got a actual room to film in, I would show you how far I have come since the first video I've ever done. I will try to post that video up here in a link, but it was awful. Oh my gosh, it was awful. And I just cringe every time I go back and watch my first few videos. Actually, my first few 20 videos I hate. But it makes me appreciate where I am now and how much I've learned and the amount of technology and you know, things that I had no idea existed. I had no clue about cameras. I had no clue about lighting. I had no clue about YouTube. So I really and truly started from scratch. My son helped me set up my YouTube channel and um, kind of showed me the ropes. I would wait for him to get home from school to edit my videos because I had no clue how to even edit. And now I can do it all myself. I film, I edit, I've got my own room, and um, you know, there's just a sense of self-pride with that because I just feel like that I've accomplished something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and um, I'm here now, and I'm proud of it, and I've met some amazing people on YouTube, and strong, independent women of the beauty community, and um, it's just been amazing. So, very appreciative for that. And um, if you are watching this and you're just thinking about starting a YouTube channel or you just started a YouTube channel, um, I can tell you that the hardest part is starting. Actually getting on and filming, seeing yourself on camera, listening to your voice, all of that is cringy. It is just cringy. You'll get used to it and then as you start to get more comfortable in front of the camera, then you start to learn about lighting and things that, hmm, you know, this video looks so much better when I watch this YouTuber. I wonder what she does or what he does to get better quality. That's seriously how I've learned. I've watched, I've learned, and I've listened. And I think that's what's helped me tremendously. So I'm still a very small YouTube channel and I'm still hoping to grow. I've got big goals now and um, I'm just hoping that uh, my channel will continue to do well. But I am very, very appreciative for everyone who takes a piece of their day out to come and watch me. And, um, you know, truly it means so much. So I wanna give you a tour of the room. And like I said, it's not anywhere close, but I'm very proud of it. And it's nice to have a little um, space of my own and be able to uh, you know, bring, keep all my stuff in here and in one place. When I started, I was in my bathroom. Actually, my very first couple videos, I switched around. And I was like in front of a big window in my bedroom. Then I'd move to the bathroom. My voice echoed, it was awful. Uh, the lighting wasn't very good. And um, I had to like transfer everything I had, like my camera. I actually filmed starting with um, my iPhone. And then I graduated to a large iPad that I had, an iPad Pro, which did amazing for a very long time. In fact, I still edit on that iPad. Um, but now I have a Canon uh, Rebel T7i, and I have a microphone, and I have a ring light, and I have some box lights. And I think probably the most important number one thing you can purchase is a ring light. I think that is, no matter what you're filming on, a ring light is detrimental, especially if you are in like the beauty YouTube community because to show your makeup and to make things show up in the colors and the swatches, you gotta have good lighting. So I got mine on Amazon. I will link everything I have down below, or at least I'll try. And um, if you guys have any questions for me or you know any advice you can give me or any advice I can give you, I would love to answer any questions. Um, like I said, I'm still learning myself, but 
I think that it is so important to share the information and to help one another get their channels, um, to better their channels, and nothing is a secret. It should all be out there. So I'm so, so excited to, um, to share this with you. So stay with me and I'll show you around. Okay guys, so you walk into my office and this is the view that you would see. Um, this is the uh, setup that I have and I have three box lights that I had actually purchased resale. It's a local um, resale site that's on Facebook and I'd bought one, two, three of the box lights and they work perfect. And then of course I have um, my ring light which that's what I was saying was so important to have as a YouTuber, you have to have a ring light. And that is my camera that I use and it's fairly new. I have upgraded several times. I went from my iPad to my um, Nikon camera to now my Canon uh, Rebel T7i. And I love it because of the flip out screen. And then you come over here and I just have a little fold up table and I keep a Walmart rug on top of it and I just kind of set the things that I need to review or talk about or things like that and it's just super super cheap and it works perfect because I can pull it out in front of me when I'm filming and set my makeup on it or whatever I need to because um, I don't actually uh, keep my makeup in here so when I get ready I bring stuff in here. This is my desk and the rug is from Wayfair, but I was actually given the rug um, by my mom. She had given it to me and it worked perfect for this room. And um, then you go over here and of course I don't have a um, table yet for my printer and I've got to find a cute little table. But this is from Ikea, the desk is, and I love this desk. We put it together, my husband was gracious enough to put it together for me and the chair is actually from TJ Maxx. So this is a view that you look at when, um, when I'm filming. I sit right in front of it on this chair and um, the desk is now together and I am so excited about that. But you come over here and these little trinkets I have is basically from different places. I am a bargain shopper. This is a card, uh, business cards that I had made up by Acme Printing, and I'll put everything in the description box below, but they made me beautiful cards that match my um, emblem, and I'm so excited to have them. So this is, um, this pineapple is from TJ Maxx. It was $12, and I got it even more on a discount. This uh, mouse pad is from Amazon, and I loved it because it's marble themed. And then you go over here to the flower box. I got that at TJ Maxx for $12.99. And then my pictures I got from Home Goods, and these were another good, good buy. I don't buy anything unless it's cheap. And then the actual shelves itself were from Ikea as well. And then I got this little mirrored uh, diamond from TJ Maxx for $7. And then um, I got that mug over there and I got that from Amazon. And these brushes over here were from Amazon as well. And they were super cheap and they had that marble theme. So it was perfect. So the drawers you pull open and I actually don't keep my makeup in here. Um, so I just keep my desk supplies and my candle lighter and things that I would use to take notes with. And then this drawer is where I keep all of my camera items. Anything I could need to set up for my camera or change lenses. And I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree and I love them. I've put them throughout all these drawers and it's a perfect divider. And as you can see, these drawers are still empty. I haven't even filled them up yet. I've got several to go, so I like having the room. This is the wastebasket I picked up from Home Goods, and I can't remember the price of it. But this I got from Home Goods as well. And I like to, eventually I'm gonna put the days that I'm gonna video and what I'm gonna video up there. But that's it, that's what you see. And everything is um, very cheap that I had bought. I bought thing, I either get it on resale or I always buy it on a discount in some way. Um, I can't remember if I failed to mention, but my chair that I got is um, from TJ Maxx as well. And I got not on a discount, 
because it had a slight little okay, hole guys, on the bottom. Okay, so that's of it. it. That's my room. The only thing I didn't mention was this clicker. I had ordered this off of Amazon and super super cheap, and it's just super easy because it plugs into my camera. I can take pictures, click the button, um, and you know snap the video on and off, and I don't have to run to my camera and, and run back. And it just makes it super easy, and I can even focus from this. So you can't move the lens, but you can you know make yourself come into focus. So that's it. You guys know the drill. Subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys on the next video.